My name is Arnold Heckman. I'm the CEO of Canaline. We're a custom packaging solutions provider to the cannabis industry. I've been involved in uh, businesses most of my life, and uh, before I uh, started Canaline, I was involved in business sales and acquisitions. Uh, saw a lot of different businesses over a 35-year career there, ones that were run well, ones that weren't, and uh, what went into running and uh, making a successful business. Um, Canaline um, was not really uh, a planned venture. I had a friend uh, that I'd known for many years in the D.C. area who moved to California and started a, a, a dispensary that became very successful and on one of his trips back east uh, called me to get together for lunch and uh, was telling me about the business and uh, I had inquired or asked him about what, what were the challenges he was facing because it sounded like the business was doing quite well. And he had mentioned that uh, packaging was a big problem for him. Um, he was uh, wanted to do professional packaging and uh, when he was talking to companies at that time and told them what he was doing, uh, it was almost um, laughable that they just really wanted nothing to do with him. I suggested that uh, since he was in the California area, he should probably find an importer and potentially go offshore, uh, have the custom packaging made and import it. And um, he, uh, after some conversation, he said, I really don't have time for that, uh, I'm just busy. He said, why don't you do that and I'll buy it from you. I said, well, let me think about that and give me some ideas about what your run rates are and what you use and what you go through. And um, it turned out that it could be a reasonably uh, profitable business, um, especially with an expanding market. So um, I had known my partner Andy for quite some time uh, through my other business. Uh, he had had some experience in uh, in importing packaging for a line of skincare that he had business interest in. So I talked to him about it, and at the time he knew nothing about the cannabis industry. And uh, I said, well, why don't you come down and, you know, let's meet and see if it looks like it might be interesting. Well, it turned out it was. Um, we literally started uh, in a spare office in my existing business, and um, it uh, actually turned out to be a very interesting and fulfilling business and that's what I've, we've been doing now for the last nine years. <music>